What you see here is a piece of paper to be used as a stage, but it could be any surface. Our application figures out how that paper is oriented in space and overlays the 3D objects on it. You can see here, as your son rotates the paper, the objects move with it, letting the user truly explore their creation. Pretty cool, huh? In addition to allowing someone to really enjoy their visual creation, the app allows interaction with the objects by touching the iPad surface. You could imagine a final application that could trigger audio tracks or adjust the mix of the song. But what we've done here is to demo how this interaction could work by creating virtual musical instruments. Touching the objects produces unique frequency and tone, and we've also added a virtual digital piano for the more musically talented. What's the point? We had users try both apps, and we measured how long they wanted to play with each. We found a huge difference in the level of engagement. With the Lady Gaga app, most people would only view an object for 5 to 20 seconds. 20 seconds is a long time to stare at a 3D sphere, after all. When people used our app, however, they were engaged for at least a minute. This represents an increase in engagement from 3 to 20 times. Once we added streaming, and people were listening to a song as well, engagement went up even higher. Now there's no reason this needs to be confined to Lady Gaga or one specific app. This extra engagement gives an opportunity for the artist to build a relationship with their fans beyond the typical passive listening that is the staple of the music industry today. Further, you are doing this by combining the artist's music with content created by the user, thus strengthening the emotional connection between artist and fan. Now we did have a whole 24 hours, so not only did we create an, augmented, an interactive augmented reality native app with streaming audio, overlaid visual content, procedural music generation, and musical synthesis, but we also produced an Android version, and of course, a Google Glass version. All right. It's a little hard to show on stage, so feel free to come see it afterwards. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed seeing the app as much as we enjoyed building it. Okay?